Hi, we're the Treehouse Detectives. Dr. D said that you might be able to help us learn about how crustal movement is monitored. I sure can. I use GPS to measure crustal movements. I've heard of GPS, but I'm not sure what it is or how it works. GPS stands for Global Positioning System. It's a satellite navigation system consisting of 24 satellites. Pilots and boaters use it to plot their course. Geologists use it to accurately measure the position of monitoring stations. Here in Southern California, we have a network of 250 GPS stations. How does knowing the position of these stations help you to understand earthquakes? It shows us the stretching, warping, and movement of the crust that's not really noticeable. How accurate is it? We can measure the positions of points on the Earth to 3 millimeters horizontally and 7 millimeters vertically. That's small. How does that differ from what a seismograph does? A seismograph measures earthquakes when they happen. With GPS, we can actually measure the quiet motions of the Earth. That means we can measure the strain buildup as well as the earthquakes themselves. It is particularly useful in identifying active blind faults. What's a blind fault? A blind fault is a break in the crust that doesn't break through the surface anywhere. Naturally, these faults are not easy to locate or study and might go unnoticed without GPS technology. That's pretty impressive. I'm glad we have the ability to see these faults. Will this technology help us to predict earthquakes? We are integrating data from a lot of different sources into computer simulations. These simulations should help us understand the earthquake process. We hope to eventually be able to do short-term forecasting. Can you give us an example? By monitoring all the stations, we can find out which faults have the greatest slip rate. The slip rate, typically measured in millimeters per year, is how fast the two sides of a fault are moving past each other. These faults that have the greatest slip rates may be the locations of future earthquakes. I wish you were able to make a prediction now. Can GPS help us to know if we experienced an earthquake in Virginia? We can use GPS to measure displacements from earthquakes, but we don't measure the shaking part from an earthquake. A seismometer is used to measure this, and it will be better able to answer your question. Thank you very much, Dr. Donnellan. You're welcome. Email me if you have any questions, and say hello to Dr. D for me.